Leviton offers three types of jacks. This video shows you how to terminate the extreme jack. For the extreme jack, we'll use the following tools. A 110 punch tool, a Leviton palm termination tool, a flush cutter, a data cable stripper, and we have a piece of category 6A cable here. With the data wire strip tool set to the proper depth, go around once so that you don't cut into the conductors. Next, break the cable at the strip point and remove the jacket. Now remove the filler, strip string, or other pair separation elements with a flush cutter. For fast, simple termination, use a Leviton palm tool when terminating the extreme jack. The palm tool is shipped with B wiring labels installed, but it can be modified with the A labels that are included. The extreme jack features dual layer wiring labels. Should you need A labeling, simply pull back the top layer to reveal the A wiring diagrams. Insert the jack onto the palm tool between the wiring labels. The wiring label on the palm tool provides better visibility for termination. Here we'll be using the B wiring method. The cable can be terminated from one of three directions. For this video, we're going to terminate the cable straight down on the jack. This method is ideal when multiple jacks are positioned next to one another in a patch panel or wall plate. With this jack, all four pairs can be slotted before punching them down. Align the pairs to correspond with the colors on the wiring label. Paying attention to polarity, slightly untwist the pair and use the pair separation tower on the jack to help separate the wires while pushing them down into the slot. Repeat this process until all wires are slotted in the jack. Once all four pairs are in position, you can begin punching down the wires. Ensure your punch down tool is set to low impact. Then with the yellow side facing out, punch down to terminate the wires on each side of the jack. Angling the punch tool slightly outward will allow the tool blade to interface with the jack's cutting ledge. If you're terminating a CAT 6A extreme jack, attach the cone of silence to the cable and slide it down onto the jack. The cone of silence helps to mitigate alien crosstalk and is included with all extreme CAT 6A jacks. If you're terminating a CAT 5E or CAT 6 extreme jack, use the dust cap included with these jacks. Remove the jack from the palm tool, it is now ready for use. For more information, visit leviton.com slash copper.